Hi all. I've got this old basement sink. Cast iron. Probably been around 100, 125 years. Uh, I thought about replacing it with one of those plastic ones, you know. You see at the hardware store, but uh, after I looked at them, I decided not to because you can't beat this. So, uh, I took out the old drain and it was it was rusted in and uh, I wanted to put in a new drain so after I took the old one out the hole was too big for a regular drain so I couldn't find any type of adapter so I ended up using a, a, a little bondle here so the tricky part there was stopping it from falling so I just used a piece of a a piece of sheet metal down here to I propped it up here and then uh, put the bondo on on that and uh, I had to put a couple layers from the top a couple layers from the bottom but uh, I, I got it to smooth out lots of sand in all by hand so so now I'll be able to put a, a regular drain in there so uh, I, I never had a catcher in there. It's just an open hole, small hole. And the cats always felt like they were gonna fall down the hole, <laughs> and I was giving them a bath. A bath so. so I'm gonna try this on it. I've used a regular Rust-Oleum paint on here before, two or three times, and it, it doesn't last. It chips and peels and just, just just peels off like rubber. So I figured I, I'd give this a try. And uh, I don't see nothing in the directions about rust. So I don't know what to do about this stuff here. It says they use a chip sealer on chips. But uh, it doesn't say what to do about rust. Okay, I got a little drip there. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, I'll pull it out so it doesn't get wet. That's next. I gotta replace that faucet. Okay, so I don't want to use the whole thing. See, it, it it comes in two parts. You have to, you have to mix these. So I'm going to mix, you're supposed to pour all this in here and mix it up. Well, you're supposed to mix up this one and mix up this one. And then you pour all this in here and then you mix them both up. But I don't want to use the whole thing. Uh, I found it on Amazon, $25. Can must have got bent in shipping. It wasn't really packaged all that great. They just threw this thing in in a box and shift it. So I'm going to mix a little bit up in here. I've washed it out good. There's no cat food in there. Okay. So the tricky part is going to be how much of this and how much of that do I put in there. So I got to do some measuring. So I got it sanded down the best I could. I'm tired of messing around with it. I'm going to clean it with some alcohol. That, that's what it says in, in the directions. And it doesn't say what to do about Fondo, if I should prime it or not. So I'm not going to bother. I'm just, I'm just going to paint it. A few videos I did watch, it just looks like white paint. It just sticks to the porcelain here. Some type of special paint that sticks to the porcelain regular rust-oleum wouldn't stick. So let's uh, we'll wipe it down with the alcohol and then we'll read we'll spend some time reading the directions.
This is just regular rubbing alcohol that you would get at the store. You're supposed to clean it. I've sanded it a lot to get all the old gum off. It's just a, a little bit of bombo doing the drain. Okay, I've been wiping it down for about 15 minutes or more with the alcohol. That's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm just drying it off here. I think it says wait 15 minutes after you wipe it off. So it seems to be pretty clean.
Okay, so now we'll mix it up. Really nothing to it, you just mix it up and paint it on. It's just, it's just like paint. So the tricky part is the preparation. Just make, make sure you got it cleaned. Okay, we'll check out the box here while we're waiting. It says to wait 15 minutes, so. So, let's see here. Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile Refinishing Kit. Epoxy. I guess that's the part. The epoxy part is what sticks to the porcelain sink. Apply a smooth porcelain-like finish in just a few hours. Rust-Oleum Tub Tile Refinishing Kit Renews Ceramic Tile Porcelain Fiberglass Acrylic Cast Iron and Steel Tubs and Stinks not for use on galvanized steel or flexible plastic. Always test surface a small hidden area before painting to test adhesion and appearance. Do not use on areas exposed to extreme heat such as stove tops or constant high hum humidity, water immersion such as swimming pools, hot tubs, ponds, saunas. <coughs> One kit, one quart, two coats over a, a standard tub. So you're supposed to put two coats on a bathtub. Satisfaction guaranteed. If, if dissatisfied, if dissatisfied, call 1-800-481-4800. Four eight one forty seven eighty five for a full refund. Contains all these chemicals. Make sure you have adequate ventilation. This side here, it's, it's easy to make your outdated bathtub look and feel like new. Remodel with without the time, cost, and conven inconvenience of replacing. Okay, you can go to rustoleum.com and you can actually read the label as a PDF. So rustoleum.com and then really not much to the directions. I thought I'd see a lot more. So surface cleaning. Remove metal drains, brush and sand away peeling paint, repair chips or cracks. See that's the part I'm worried about with the rust in the bondo with a patching compound like liquid steel. Remove any mildew with a solution of bleach and water, rinse thoroughly, Scrub surface with cleanser. Surface preparation. It is important the surface be very clean before applying product. Remove all caulk, wipe and clean. Prepare surface with an abrasive.
pad and lime away. Rinse and repeat if necessary. Sand with 400, 600 grit. Uh, that, that's just like uh, if you go to a store, you can get 400 grit sandpaper. It's real coarse, so it it sands it a lot. And then 600 will be like a real fine sandpaper, so it's smooth. It smooths out the surface. You know, if you're doing your bathtub. Uh, Rinse away your residue, allow surface to dry, wipe with tack cloth immediately before painting to remove dust. Old paint has lead in it. A little lead won't hurt you, right? Okay. Well, paint application. Properly ventilate. Open the windows, turn on fans. Next part A. Part A. Mix part A thoroughly. Mix rust oleum tub and tile part B together. That's B. Allow to dry at least Allow to dry at least one hour before applying second coat. Allow three days before exposing to water. So that's the tough part. Allow three days before exposing to water. So you can't use it for three days. Got to take a bath in the sink. Okay. Let's try to mix this stuff up here. So they say to mix those again. That should do it. Mix this. They don't say nothing about mixing this. So. This feels like paint inside there. I'm just going to mix up a little bit in a can because I don't want to use the whole thing. So the, the big one just looks like white paint. Stinky. No doubt about that one. Okay, so this will be the tricky part, you know, how much of this and how much of that, because I don't, I don't want to mix it all. So, so I'm just going to kind of guess at it. So how much am I going to need to paint the sink, right? Say about that much. So I'd say I got about one fourth of what they had in there. So then I'll take one fourth of this board in here.
forgot to put my gloves on. You can get these at Walmart in the medical area. They're, they're right next to the peroxide and the bandages and stuff like that. I think five dollars a box. Use them all. Use them all the time. They rip real easy, but they're they're cheap. Mix it up. It's just like paint. I kind of thinned it out. Just like white paint. Hope it sticks. Pretty good, I guess. Going pretty good, I guess. Let's see what we got here.
the real test will be months down the road, see if it sticks to the rusty spots in the Bondo. So we won't know for sure for a while. It looks nice now. It's, it's not bad at all. But it just looks like white paint to me. I'm getting some rugs here. I put it on too thick. Better than it was. It was really getting really beat up there. Last year I painted I painted it with a Rust-Oleum gray. And the uh, first time I gave the cats a bath, you know, their claws chipped it all up at the bottom. And then over a period of time it just slowly started to peel off. That's why I figured I'd try this before winter. Seems seems to work pretty good. Okay, and they say to wait an hour and then put a second coat. It, it says to always put a second coat on. So we'll take a closer look at it here. So I, it painted the Bondo, no problem there. You can't, can't even see the edge of where the Bondo ends. Rusty edge, it covered it up. Don't know if it's gonna stick, right? So I still see a lot of streaks from the paintbrush. I think that's probably why they recommend a roller. But uh, I didn't feel like spending the money on a roller. So it's good enough for a basement sink. Okay, so I'll see you back here in an hour and we'll do the second coat. See ya. Bye. Okay, uh, it's only been drying about a half a half hour, and it's totally dry. So I don't know about this part. Yeah. Bottom part still st st still sticky, but this top part that's totally dry here.
that's dry. Just this bottom part is still damp. <clears throat> Looks good. A little streaks from the paintbrush, but uh, use a roller, huh? Okay. See you later. Okay, it's been about two hours. Feels pretty dry. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put, this, put a second coat on. I still got, I still got about half of what I mixed up here, so I've got, got plenty left. I would say definitely use a roller because it's coming out streaked. But you know, for my purposes, basement sink is fine.
Okay, so that used just about all of it. Got a little bit left in the bottom. I think it looks really good, especially with the second coat. You know, you can tell it's paint, but uh, way better than it was. Now uh, we'll wait and see if it sticks. Huh? Okay, it's been about four hours, and it, it's totally dry, and uh, it seemed to smooth out really nice. You know, it, there's a little paintbrush here, there. Uh, I think if I used a roller, it would have been perfect. It, I think. Uh, I think if you use a roller. It would really look like it came from the factory or really, really close. Like here you can see the paintbrush streaks. Other than that, I, I think it did a great job. So just sand it down really smooth. You can see here. That's where it was rusty, but like in through here is where I had the bondo and I sanded it down real smooth. I mean that's perfect. It, it couldn't get any better than that, it, it, even if it came from the factory. Paintbrush streaks, you you can really you can really see those. Like here, you can you can see the paintbrush streaks. So that's why they want you to use a roller. Okay, so they say to wait three days before you run water on it. So that's that's the tough part. If you only have one bathtub, what do you do? You take a you, you take a shower in the sink. Okay, see ya. Bye.